Welcome to the No. I'm Ryan Haywood. And I'm Mick Turney. Hmm. No? Yeah, probably. Oh, probably not. Okay, fine. Hi, I'm Gray Haddock. <laughs> all right. With all the video game news coming our way today, it looks like the pre-E3 is the new E3, everybody. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuff yeah. happened. Yeah, uh, we've got delays, announcements, announcements of announcements, delayed announcements, announcements of delays, and, well, you know, thanks for that one, Watch Dogs 2. And also some juicy video game leaks. Score! <laughs> the biggest news of the day is apparent leak of Dead Rising 4 which now has multiple sources chiming in on its authenticity. And from what we can gather, this one might be the real deal. Maybe, mm. yeah. Well, the game will reportedly be shown at E3 next week and could even be an Xbox One exclusive. Ah, well, no, that's I'm not really hoping no, for that, to no. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some other interesting rumors surrounding the leaked game, like four-player co-op, for instance. But let's stick with what we know for the time being. Uh, which is, Dead Rising 4 appearing at E3 was first mentioned by This Gen Gaming over the weekend when they reported that it was being developed by Capcom Vancouver, and it would, quote, make fans of the series very happy. That report was followed up by a new post today, this time with alleged screenshots from the upcoming game. Those images included the title screen, a screen from the actual game, and even promotional box art. Box art! <gasps> box art! <laughs> it's real now! Yeah! Uh, so there's a ton of speculation surrounding these images, but what's most interesting is that they seem to depict Frank West, the star of Dead Rising 1 and Dead Rising 2, off the record. You can even see his camera in the promotional art and the in-game screenshot. Uh, that's what everybody said at the end of The Last Dead Rising, is I can't wait to have some more f uh, Frank West. Yeah, right? you know, yeah. Uh, Dear Diary, the dreams are still coming. When <sighs> will Frank come back into my life? Now that the images are out of the bag, a number of sources are confirming that it is legit. Kotaku's Jason Schreier uh, tweeted as much, stating that Dead Rising 4 leak is for real. In his post about the game, he said he saw the same promotional art from a separate source altogether. So, confirmed. Another industry insider, E. Kim from NeoGAF, also added his voice to the mix. E. Kim was also the source of the FCC filings a couple of months back that broke word of two possible Xboxes on the way. In addition to confirming that the game is 100% real, E. Kim also dropped a couple other bombshells. According to him, Dead Rising 4 is not a sequel, but a remake of Dead Rising. Today, E. Kim tweeted, Dead Rising 4 is a remake of Dead Rising 1 during Christmas time. Four-player co-op. Not only the mall, but also the surroundings, so, probably. So, so Dead Rising, the Shane Black edition. Yes. The, the horrible it's Christmas actually, goes awry. No, there are no zombies. It's just shoppers stampeding to get into the mall. <laughs> well, it would certainly explain the appearance of Frank West. Although it's a little strange that they would call this remake Dead Rising 4. However, fans are speculating that the 4 is in reference to the new 4-player colon. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so it's not Dead Rising 4 so much as it is Dead Rising 1 colon. Four. Dead 4 Rising. Right. Uh, it's it's pretty confusing, to be honest. Yeah, so uh, Kotaku's Jason Schreier also had information that pointed to the same thing, saying Kotaku heard that the new game takes place in Willamette, Colorado, which, again, is the same setting as Dead Rising 1, right? Also the only source for Lego heads that fit on your actual head. Oh, yes. Uh, but hey! Remakes are kind of all the rage now. Might as well start calling a remake a sequel at this point. Yeah, and in true infomercial style, we get to say, but wait, there's more! Because these leaks were also semi-confirmed through some teasing posts on NeoGAF by Shinobi062, who has had his hands in the rumor pie a number of times, often with correct results. Shinobi's previously been accurate about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare taking place in space ahead of the reveal, and also the reveal date of Halo 5 Guardians. Battlefield Hardline, Quantum Break's 2015 release, Mass Effect Andromeda's E3 2014 announcement. Uh, you get the idea. I'm, I'm still hung up on the imagery of, of the announcement or leak pie. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, tasty, mm -hmm. tasty, tasty rumor pie. Anyway, Shinobi gave us even more gossip over the weekend when he appeared on the Mr. Matty's Plays podcast. There he teased that Capcom Vancouver would have an exclusive game revealed at E3. Since we now know that Capcom Vancouver's big project is Dead Rising 4, it's not much of a stretch to say that this is more than likely the exclusive game. The only question is, who will it be exclusive to? Hmm, judging by the franchise's track record, the safest bet would be Microsoft. Dead Rising 1 and 3 were Xbox exclusives. However, all signs point to this being another exclusive for Xbox, who will reveal Dead Rising 4 at their press conference next week. Ironically enough, PlayStation Lifestyle claims to have a source stating that the game will indeed be an Xbox exclusive. So, when you look at Microsoft's current release model, it's also safe to say that this could potentially get a simultaneous release on both PC and console for the company, which would be good for them because they need all the exclusives they can get. Still, it's possible <laughs> that this is a Sony exclusive. I mean, it's unlikely. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's possible, I guess. I mean, it could also be brought to you by Dragon yeah. in store. <laughs> uh, we've seen them pull off some big coups before, and the franchise has dabbled with their system in the past, but it doesn't seem that likely now that we have PlayStation Lifestyle Source 
added to the mix saying it's not. Yeah, right. So really it all comes down to sales. Dead Rising 2 and Off the Record on PS3 did just about even with their counterparts on Xbox 360, with about 1 to 1.5 million sales on each system. PC, meanwhile, did quite a bit less than those at about 600,000 units total. Meanwhile, Dead Rising 1 did 2 million sales on Xbox 360, with Dead Rising 3 doing similarly on both Xbox One and PC. Yeah, so really Dead Rising 2's multi-platform release didn't significantly affect the series' sales, meaning it wouldn't be as much of a risk for Capcom to go exclusive with Microsoft once again. The PS4 does have a much bigger install base than Xbox One at the moment, and those Xbox exclusives Eh, well, they haven't had quite as big of a sales impact as Microsoft has probably hoped for. So, Dead Rising 4 seems to be like a huge win for them, and definitely could help them make a decent splash at E3. Whatever the case, it looks like we'll be finding out more about Dead Rising 4, or 1, or 1 colon 4, or whatever the hell they end up calling it at E3 next week, uh, presumably at Microsoft's conference, maybe? Eh, eh, maybe? Uh, well, what do you guys think of the Dead Rising 4 leak? Are you on board with a remake, or do you want to be have a full new title? Let us know in the comments. For more upcoming E3, three news if there's any left by the time the actual event hits. Mm. Like this video and subscribe to The Know. What do you think, Meg? <laughs> <laughs> I like Dead Rising too. Wait, hang on, down here. <laughs> <laughs> Another industry insider, E. Kim from NeoGAF, also added his voice to the mix. E. Kim was also the source... Yeah, sorry. Uh, you read one more time. Hmm, <laughs> judging by the French... Fucking...